What's up fam? Back from Paris, back from a really really dope event, okay? Africa best dance camp, okay? Blue. I'm still chilling, you know? It was an amazing experience, like so many good teachers, so many good students, okay? So, man, the vibe was just really dope, okay? An amazing organization. I don't, I don't even know how to, you know, express my gratitude towards, you know? Blacko and the event, everybody around, okay? It was really, really dope to meet all of you. Like, for real, you know, from students from all over the place. Teachers that I never saw and I have this, like, really good vibe. Like, we already knew each other for a long time, you know? It just, it was amazing, for real, for real, for real. You know, I hope I can see you, uh, like, all of you, you know, as soon as possible. Keep on working, you know? And damn, actually, I, I'm supposed to do a review, you know, but I'm just dropping, you know, my feelings here straight up. <laughs> so, the event in general was really good for me, like, as a teacher, it was really dope. Like, the vibe was, re was really, really on point. The students were really, you know, excited to understand a couple of things. And, you know, it's good when you have students that actually engage you with questions and different, you know, topics, because that's that's actually you know what you expect not just them to stay you know there and look at what you're doing you know at least for me as a teacher that's why i like to speak so much and you know give thoughts about things that uh, i have to deal with on the start and for sure they're gonna have to understand if they into the stuff that i thought and yeah on my personal view my classes were like really really you know vibe you know really good atmosphere i had to push a little bit more in the kudura class because it was wednesday because i don't teach kudura often just because i respect that there are like really good guys doing that and i think that i for sure should like let them get the credits for their work because i'm not 100 percent in kudura right now for a couple of years and yeah i like to give space to them but has a request of Blacko to make the program more diverse at that moment. You know, I gave a class like him. And yeah, I called the class like Kuduro versus Afros just based on the video that I did before. So people could know the difference physically besides, you know, me speaking, you know. So if you were in the class, yeah, I, I, I hope I could make you, you know, understand then the difference in movement about the sudden energy. And I saw because everybody was a little bit struggling you know with you know the basic fundamental and you know granil all these things i saw them oh man okay this is not a browse at all so for my side i think the mission was really really you know complete uh but yeah let me know okay if you're checking this video let me know if you just got out of the class the second class for the rest of the house knowing the differences all right from my side as student yo i didn't have time to do that much classes from other teachers. I took the Uncle Uncle TC from UK class. I took Vipa G's class. I I saw some classes uh, seen from New York class. I saw Yap from France class. I took Bahu in Altes class. And all of them were really really rich when it comes to content. You know, as as a student is. It was really, you know, good to see so many different aspects being worked on that place that way, you know, like from routines to, to exercises, you know, it's really good when you have like a diverse schedule of teachers and that's that's the most the most important thing in, on events and these events I can for sure, for sure give a big props to Blacko to have so many diverse teachers with ways of teaching you know not just focus on the choreography method not just focus on the you know other methods that might be freestyle drills like myself i like to give drills i like to give foundation give steps so i can make people understand you know how to put things together not just have the material delivered like on the block way you know but it's just methods there's no good or bad you know it's just ways to approach classes and that even had you know that detail really real really well you know 
treated, you know, so you have classes with routines, classes with live instruments, so you can really feel like the apps class. with the drummers and it, you just feel it was like a filling glass because that's what the style is you know it's a live performance and if you check like the old videos from you have always the singer the drummers the dancers on the back and I had for like for sure that view on the class of that happening so it was a really emotional class and I saw actually people you know with that vibration you know the emotions like feeling you know it was really dope. dope 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 so when it comes to classes this even this was on point you know this this edition I was there and I saw you know it was really good so I have this feeling that you know the students are coming back with a really you know solid information when it comes to a couple of star of, of stars and yeah that's pretty much what it is next topic I can speak about you know the schedule timing it was really good because you have classes at the morning and you finish like at night then you have a couple of pa pauses you had the boot camp and you have the parties so you had almost everything there um, and of course I know that it's difficult to make things happening on this you know on the proper time on even because it's not you don't decide everything you know you have students that might come late you have teachers that might come late so for the organization is you know the way they deal with that it was really you know professional and for me you know it's a, another point to them um yeah you know um i saw a lot of things happening you know that inspired me a lot you know the way people were communicating you know the love that people share to teachers the, the love that teachers share to students and the vibe was on point yeah <laughs> so i don't want to make this thing really good you know if i had to rate this event i will give like for sure a eight you know a eight from zero to ten a eight and i'm giving an eight now because yo that's a couple of things that you i know for sure i'm not gonna be pointing things that you know, are wrong because i can just do it directly and speak with them but to all events, there's always a couple, a couple of things that you can, you know, work on the events and make them better, for sure, for sure. So, it's an eight because I know that it's a continuous learning. So the next editions, they're gonna be, you know, close and close to like a perfection state of even, you know, or you know, mine when it comes to delivering this, this piece, you know, this, yeah, this event in general. Okay, so, yup. That's pretty much my review. I'm, I'm not gonna say that much. So it's my very first review. Is it? Is, is this actually a review? No, I'm just letting your people, you know, I'm just letting people, you just know what happened there on a really fast way, you know. But of course, you have to be there to experience. So what I'm saying is just come to the next edition of Africa Best Dance Camp. If you want to, you know, experience all this, make sure you be on the event. All right?